Okay, this is the culture room. Here we breed or reproduce or culture Brachionus, um, Phytoplankton, and other species like Moina salina and copper pots. So here's the culture of um, Brachionus. Normally you can do it with crystal balls like this one like this one um, with a air pump and glass pipette and they need a live algae uh, maybe shellfish diet like a different source of nutrients um, or different si uh, source of different nutrients because the idea is that they will be uh, a very good uh, food for the larvae and the fishes or porcelanis that uh, eat, can eat some raccoons. Um, there is the algae sculpture. This time we have Podomonas. It's a red algae, as you will see. like red brown algae so you need a packet like this with two layers with a diffusor stone and here we have nanochloropsis I start today the culture of nanochloropsis from the culture in these bags now we are using the culturing of nanochloropsis and phytoplankton uh, between using this method and it's working really good because they grow really fast and, uh, and it's a really clean and uh, a septic method uh, it's difficult that they get contaminated um, here we have the Moina Salina and other copper pots but almost of them are Moina Try to show you maybe. Oh. Here is the Moina. So you can see it's a salt or sea water. Um, uh, cladoser or vertebrate useful for aquaculture here is the same here we have the uh, live shrimps uh, for feed the fishes that only eat live food. Uh, in the case of some shalker fishes uh, and other species like uh, cardinals that uh, like to eat these kind of shrimps because they are really useful to uh, stimulate the reproduction of them so it's, uh, it's easy to keep them you just need a uh, good quality of water and uh, uh, water circulation and a filter maybe like this one it's a canister filter and water circulation and good salinity conditions uh, to breed them is not so difficult you need a uh, change in the temperature of water and um, salinity changes and it's possible to do it it's not difficult and it's a very good food because you can enrich them uh, with uh, different sources of um, algae or dry food uh, with uh, unsaturated fatty acids
<laughs> it's the right way to um, feed it's a good food for fishes with problems um, because in, in, uh, when in some uh, some aquarium fishes sometimes just like this like food and don't receive frozen food neither dry food so it's the only way to feed them with these shrimps. Its name is their name is Paleomonetus barrios. So um, it's another thing. Uh, here is the copper boat culture. So you see, you just need a glass aquarium like this, light uh, algae, and sometimes uh, replace a little bit of water and give them algae for uh, have a good quality of water live algae okay this is all i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you comment